Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, how to find the midpoint between two points. All right, so let's get started. So the first, so clearly my slides slides are not working today. So the first idea you want to think about is um, how do you find the middle of two numbers? So say for example you've got the number three and seven, and you want to find the middle of this number. Now looking at these two numbers, you can kind of see that oh yep. So five is the middle of this, these two numbers. But if I make it big, so let's say if I make it between nine and um, no, 25, okay, what's the number in the middle of this? Now you can't be sitting there counting these numbers. So the best way to do it is add these two numbers up. So you have 25 plus nine, which is 34. And then when you divide it by two, you get 17. In fact, if you wanna find the middle of any number, uh, any two numbers is that you add them up and divide it by two. So if, say if I've got between 10 and 102, for example, let's make it 101. 101, then when I add them up, I'm going to get 111. And then 111 divided by two, 55.5. So 55.5 is the number between 10 and 101. So why am I going through this one first? Because this is what you're going to need to figure out um, the midpoint between two points. So let me show you in the next example. Right now, I've got this red point here, which is 0, 0, and then I've got another point, which is 8, 6. Now, if I join this up, I've got a straight line here. All right. So what I'm looking for is the middle of that, the middle of that straight line between the two red, red points. So... I mean, looking at this picture, you can kind of see straight away that um, the midpoint is somewhere here, which happens to be 4, 3. But how do I do this? Um, if I want to look at it, is I look at the x values first. So the x values have got 8 and 0. Now half, well, in this case, it's kind of easy. Half of 8 is 4. So that's where the midpoint is going to be. And then on the y side of things, I've got between 6 and 0, half of 6 is 3, and as you can see, that's where the midpoint is, 4, 3. So, in this case, the midpoint, now normally you would have labels, so let's say for example this is AB, then you can say midpoint AB equals um, 4, 3. Let me show you another example. So this is an example where it's not so obvious. Well, it might be for some, but um, so how do we do it when it's not so obvious? So what you do is you look at what the x coordinate first is. In this case, the x coordinate is nine, and in this side it's three. So you're trying to figure out halfway between three and nine. So you have three plus nine, which is 12, and then 12 divided by two is six. So six is where your mid x part of that midpoint is going to be. For the y, y one, you've got 10 and 4. So we're going to go 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So 7 is where the y coordinate of that midpoint is. So as you can see, the midpoint is going to be at 6, 7 um, between these two things. So once again, we have, we can write it as midpoint, um, let's call this D and E, midpoint of D and E equals 6, 7. Okay, next example. But if we start throwing numbers like um, minus around, um, it doesn't matter. It's still the same, same kind of idea, folks. So what I'm going to do is the first part, I'm going to look at the x coordinates. All right, so I've got negative 1, and I've got 4. So to find the middle of negative 1 and 4, uh, I've got negative 1 plus 4, which happens to be 3, and then 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So 1.5 is the x uh, component. And as for the y component, I've got positive 4 and negative 2. So negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 1 is where my let me just change that. Just want to work today. So 
so my one is there and of course the midpoint for this where's the midpoint going to be the midpoint is going to be at when x equals to 1.5 and when y equals to negative 1 and that's going to be that green line there and once again you can see how that's the midpoint of it so in this case let's uh, call these two letters two points ef then we can say midpoint of ef equals to 1.5 and positive 1. So to generalize, I mean, like I said, guys, in these series of videos, I actually wanted to show you how these things work, and then I'll show you the formula. So let's go to the formula itself, how we get to the formula. So at the moment, I've got this red point here, which is which I'm going to call it x1, y1. And I've got the blue point here, which is x2, y2. All right. And if I want to figure out the midpoint for this, the x component for the midpoint. So if I say midpoint, so basically I've got something like this. For the x component, I need to add my two x, x values. So I've got to actually add x1 plus x2 and I need to divide it by 2. And then same thing with the y component. I've got y1 plus y2, and that's divided by 2. And that's basically the formula for a midpoint, uh, to find the midpoint between two points. All right, now you can use this formula, but if you are happy doing the other method to find um, the midpoint of two points, you can also use the other method as well. Okay, that's basically it, guys, for this session. Um, if you really want to actually wait, I'll just show you a quick example. Uh, say we have a point here. I'm going to choose this point here. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 3. And I'll choose another point somewhere here. This could be something like, uh, I don't know, 2, 3. Okay. And so what I would do is I would actually put this as x1 y1 put this as x2 y2 and then basically just replace those numbers in the formula so i've got negative one which is x1 uh, plus two which is x2 and then negative three plus three all right, so which means my midpoint now is going to be positive 1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.5, and here it's going to be 0. So I know this is not drawn to scale, these two points. That's why it's probably looking incorrect, but trust me on this. The midpoint for these two points is at 0 0.50. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for the um, rest of the series.